Hello, today I want to show you this electric plant model. It consists of a motor and a generator coupled to a transformer so that we will get at the output AC electrical power. This is a small setup, of course it is low power. Don't expect that you can connect here a refrigerator or air conditioner. It is mainly a demonstrative setup to see how is the process of generation of electric current. Any power station has three main components. One is the generator that normally produces AC current, so it is an alternator. Next we have the transformer that raises the voltage to several thousand volts to send to the transmission lines. You need high voltage in the transmission lines to reduce the losses of electric power. And the third component is the turbine that moves the generator. In this case, the turbine works with steam that we get by boiling water using coal. But you can also use energy from, uh, for example, nuclear energy or hydraulic energy. I am using a four wire stepper motor. These motors have internally two separate coils and I am connecting the two coils in parallel in order to have more current at the output. In the video description you can see the link to another video that will show you how to connect this type of motors. I am using a standard transformer 127 to 12 volts and I am connecting the transformer in reverse. The output of the alternator goes to the primary and the secondary in the secondary we have the output of the transformer. In order to turn the alternator I am using the energy from this electric motor and they are coupled by means of gears. As I commented before, in a real power plant the energy to move the alternator may come from several means eolic power from wind or hydraulic from water, nuclear, etc. So let's now connect our setup to see how it works. Okay, so I have connected the motor to the power supply and with the multimeter we will check the output voltage. I'm going to adjust the input voltage that goes to the motor in order to adjust the output to around 120 volts, which is the household voltage. As we could see, we need 6.1 volts in order to obtain the desired output voltage. Let's test the system with a cell phone charger that is connected to the output. Let me bring the phone closer to see the charge icon. I hope you liked the video, if that is the case don't forget to give a like and subscribe to the channel. See you next time.